All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the TRCBY show. So today we're heading up Idol Berserker, and they came out with a, a fairly new event. It's very similar to all the other events that we have uh, started seeing with here. So you get yourself a free, essentially a free costume. So the more costume you have, the more overall benefits you gain as well, too. So there you go. Let's equip. All right. Let's take a look at our new costume. So this new costume is the Dragonoid Zypher. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. So this, I don't know much about, but I do know that they have a ton of crossover. So there is a new server event right here. So I guess the popularity, you know, has made it so that they need a new server, which I think it's pretty good. So this new server, Treasure Hunt Event, I'm almost there. We're getting there. So we have a few more blocks to open up. Once we do, we will get ourselves a finish the treasure hunt and obtain an SSR costume. That is one way to get it as well, too. So 15 out of 25, you have a total of eight days left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more blocks to go. And I think we pretty much open up at least like two to three blocks, I guess, a day. So we should uh, be okay for that. And then, of course, there is another event. It's the Chaos Bingo. Chaos Bingo at this time, it's very straightforward. You just do your, like, you know, pretty much your dailies. You get your quests, and then you get your tokens over here just to, like, fill in. So we were able to exchange it fairly quickly. There's six days left in the Chaos Bingo, and we got ourselves that Dragonoid Cypher costume over here. I did go ahead and, e like, purchase this event, and we're not even done yet either. So which I think it's pretty good. So uh, it's like $3 or something like that just for extra of these event cards. So it wasn't too bad. I thought it was a pretty good deal just to get another costume fairly quickly. And we still have another six days and 21 hours to go. So make sure you hit that up if you uh, would like to get yourself another costume. And another way of getting yourself a costume, of course, it's the Outer World or World event type of deal. So this is the Doom Breaker Cypher, and I believe you'll end up getting the, the regular Cypher costume eventually as well too. So we are almost there, so almost to the end. Maybe this is a loss. Let's go ahead and finish it up. So we're gonna do the summon. We're gonna get our free summon over here, and I think we could auto challenge the boss. I think we're pretty beefy, because I accidentally left it running for a pretty long time. I think I pretty much maxed out all of my skills already. So I uh, I think we should be good. So maybe this will be the last battle? Or at least, like, maybe, like, yes. I don't know. We'll see. So we have a few more uh, bosses to go through. We'll find out if this is the end of the end. And let's go ahead and keep it on auto. So I like these new companions. I really do enjoy the art style of Idol Berserker. I think it's got that really nice, like, uh, 2D feel, but especially with a new companion, like, a uh, little screen that cuts into it just to uh, show them. I think that's really cool. Like that. <laughs> like all of these, like, uh, little comic book uh, strip type of deal. I think it's pretty cool. So the companion, pretty cool addition to the Auto Berserker. It really does give new players, especially if I started the game with like companions, I would be like blown away. It's like, oh my goodness, like that is amazingly cool. So when I first started the game, we didn't have companions. We didn't have all these additional skills and so forth. So it was pretty dry and basic. And that was only about like February of this year when I started. So it's it's been around for a while in terms of an idle game and it's doing pretty good. At least I think so. I think it's a pretty fun game. For an idol game. I mean, like, I leave it alone when I'm sleeping, going to work, or whatever it is, and I come back, and it's just like, hey, look at all the cool stuff. So, I like the collectible stuff. So, we have been collecting quite a few SSR stuff, especially weapons, but not so much the necklace. The necklace seems to be the biggest pain in the rear, because after so many duplicates of SSR Either the weapons, the gauntlets, the rings. 
I have yet to receive one SSR necklace. Why is that important? It's because it will fulfill the four piece set. Regardless of whichever one I get, I could then at least think about <laughs> like, you know, trying out a four piece effect bonus set, which I think um, I would like to eventually one of these days, maybe like, you know, use it. But right now I can't because it, it just takes forever. Necklace is a lot of farming. And I try farming with like a item find as well too on stages that I just fly through, but it's uh it's just painful. That's all there is to it. All right, and I think we have one more, maybe one more boss. Let's see, let's see what this says. One more boss, and it looks like whoa, hey, that's like an almost an insta kill with that one shot over there. All right, there you go. Me uh, yip yapping away. We just clear that particular stage. And what's it say? All right, just killing more stuff. I think we're pretty good. So I am not sure if I really need to do anything else because everything else is all maxed out. And it doesn't really matter. All right, so what does matter is if we go to exit, go back over here, make sure we click on claim all. There you go. So now we have a little bit more of those. And I believe by, yeah. Maybe not tomorrow, but the next day we'll get ourselves enough. And there is nine days left. So we have nine days left to do this Doom Breaker over here. So make sure you go ahead and check that out for another costume as well, too. So that's two costumes right there for us to get as well. There's tons of pretty cool stuff. I still have yet to buy any of these things which I think may be a pretty good deal for new players, especially these Dragon Keys. Oh, you just need so many of it. Like, unbelievable amount of it. So I like to, uh, you know, try my best to get as much as I can, but I tell you what, you need tons of these Dragon Realm Keys for Awakening. Awakening, I I'm still... I have one, two items that are completely done, which is the attack and health. Right now, I'm just working on the boss damage. Once I get there, then I will finally be in SSR. And I believe after that, there's even another level on top of that. And yeah, unlock after reaching SSR. I, I'm not even there yet. <laughs> like I would like to be there, but I'm just not there yet. All right, let's take a look at, as to where I am and where we are in terms of ranking so far. So we're in, ooh, we're in the sub thousand, so 691, not too bad. In the 500s for the uh, the low fives for the Dragon Realm, and the 311s, all right, for the Black Knight territory. So we're up there. We're not too far behind uh, all of these other people. We're chasing our way up there, so I think that's pretty good. So let's take a look at stage teleport so i believe i am nope i have not hit chapter three just yet we are just uh clearing our way through chapter two where is it four let's try four four i think i need to uh set up some of my skills over here let's see what i could do go fly glass canyon sure maybe let's uh let's see how that goes and what if I use something like this to save me? Let's see. Full glass. Let's go. <laughs> that, that bubble came up pretty quick. But we are going glass cannon over here. And that's the only way to do it. There you go. Look at that. So, yeah. Like, bursting your way through bosses and stage, you're definitely going to have to go through, like, the glass cannon thing. You're just going to have to burn them as fast as you can. Just like this. And now that we have, like, essentially two, like, uh, lifesavers, right? So I kind of timed, or at least set your companions up in a particular order where, like this, I know I'm going to get one shot by these guys. But you know what? By the time this... Oh, no! That was really quick. All right. So, uh, <laughs> like I was saying, by the time this bubble ends, I may have to move her up to the third spot. Because she, I am just getting hit way too fast. So I just need him to miss one time. It's literally one second off. Oh my gosh, just give it to me. Oh, come on. No. 
Just one sec. One more second. All right. So anyways, like I was saying, like a, the glass can build, you're going to have to try because uh, it's it's literally the only way to like uh, go through it. You're never going to have enough health. At least I don't think so to like last like one hit at all. All right. So what we're going to do is since uh, we are just getting like tapped pretty fast, we're going to go into our uh, presets a little bit. So my companion rotation is here. So as you guys know, right here, we have Astia. So Astia will grant us an immunity. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an unequip and equip her into the third slot over here. So that way it'll just go off a little bit faster, like literally like one second faster because boom, our first hit is the insta kill. And then by the time the bubble's done, we have another few seconds of it, and no, oh, so close. Just give it to me. Just die. Why can't you just die? But uh, that's essentially what you want to try. You want to try to maximize the the length of your immortality or in invulnerability. It was a defeat and a victory at the same time. I won. I like won and lost. I'm a winner and a loser. That's awesome. Mostly a loser. <laughs> Let's just keep on going. All right. I think we can do one more. No. All right. Sometimes you get pretty lucky. So I like to spread it out like to the first one, of course, is the bubble. And then the second one, uh, I may need to move her up to the, uh, the fourth position again just to give it a try. But that's essentially how I've been pushing is literally I have been trying to Burst damage my way through it. You know what? I think I could get a little bit more damage. Give me a second here. One more moment, please. So if I am going full steam attack, I don't need my attack with the health. Let's uh, let's just go full ATK here. If we're going to go full ATK, we're going to go full ATK. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. Just a little bit more. No. I was so close before. But you guys get the idea. All right. So I'm just going to go back to uh, my stage. But before I do that, I am just going to go into my farming set over here because I don't want to keep on dying because we want to, you know, farm and get our uh, stuff. And OK, so I'm just going to go to stage teleport. We are let's just go back to like one one. It doesn't really matter. One one. What's one two? Two one or uh, we'll go to one one. All right. So that's a that's essentially where we are. We're just pushing our way through chapter two. We're almost done with chapter two, and I'm super excited about that. And I would like to get to chapter three and see what that's all about. And it seems like it's it's a lot harder because here these are elemental base. I don't really know what that really means, but uh, I would like to find out. And we'll get look at this level four S like a necklace so it'll be like so much easier to start farming for necklace but right now necklace is such a pain in the rear so here it is this is what i was talking about weapons i have a plus five meaning i have to get duplicates of these multiple times along with multiple of these as well too just to transcend them and necklace it's i'm still four out of five on the necklace and it's just been Ugh, so blah. So it's just taking so long to get the necklace up in there. But um, anyways, those are a few events to check out on Idle Berserker. I hope everybody is doing well, staying safe and healthy, and a peace!